Hi there, Graham from Penguin Motors with our latest Pinto video. In this test, we're gonna test this manifold on engines of three different power outputs against its bigger brother. Bigger brother, a three-piece manifold. In this case, it's actually welded together to make a one-piece, but it's still a three-piece. We used three different cams in three slightly different spec engines. We used a Piper BP285, and that produced 138.5 brake horsepower. We used a Lindell F2 oval racing cam, and that produced 152 horsepower. And we used a Kent RL31 in the 2.1 engine that produced 174 brake horsepower. So, okay, boys, let's make some noise. First up, we've got the small bore Ashley against big bore three piece on the 285 cam. Point to note here that the three piece manifold was a bugger to jet, but I got there in the end. Here's the difference between those two. And now we have the second power output, which was the 152 horsepower on the small bore with the oval racing F2 cam against the three piece. And lastly, the 174 brake horsepower L31 against the three piece. So what I haven't done at this point is to tell you which color on which graph was which. And this is gonna be of particular interest to one cam OHV on Turbo Sport and subscriber Zach Speed TV, who are currently considering either this as an upgrade or downgrade as it may be, because one's already got the big manifold. Yeah. And one hasn't. So here you are guys, this isn't my granddaughter scribbing, this is all six tests, all in one graph showing power and torque. If you want to try and decipher it, you could pause the video. Alternatively, I'll break it down to power and torque. First off, put up the horsepower graph, and if you haven't gone googly-eyed yet, you'll see that in all cases, there's a very similar difference. And now I'll switch to torque. And much to my surprise, and perhaps everyone else's, in every single case, the small bore outperformed three piece, usually by an average of around three pound foot and a few horsepower. Although one run, the big bore lost nine brake horsepower. So clearly, even on an engine with 175 horsepower, the small bore manifold is still the one to have. So normally at this point of the video, I will tell you the power figures and how much they went up by fitting the bigger cam, the bigger carbs, the bigger whatever. But in this case, they all went down you've already got the big numbers. And on that bombshell, like, share, subscribe, and watch out for some more manifold tests and carb tests still to come.